people with serious mental health problems have a life expectancy perhaps up to 20 years less than people who don't have severe mental illness. The key is the drive on physical health monitoring within mental health services. It'll give us a very accurate physical health care monitoring system and hopefully no patients will be left unchecked. It's proven that people die younger when they're involved in mental health services and that's what we're trying to stop now. The data entry tool was designed because patients with serious mental illness are dying up to 25 years younger than the general population. The main cause being cardiovascular disease, endocrine disorders and respiratory failure. The physical health tool that's been implemented, it's designed for a one-stop place for everyone's physical health assessments. Ultimately, we're trying to reduce weight, alcohol use with the medications that we use. People are a lot more risk of things like heart disease, diabetes, high cholesterol. The tool has been designed to be simple, systematic and user-friendly to guide clinicians through a simple physical health assessment and capturing the areas of main causes of death. SWIFT decided to get involved with this because we'd heard about the work in Bradford on a local and national level and we wanted to be offering the same standard. Healthcare in mental health primarily focuses on the mental health. These people as well have also got very complicated physical health problems at times and can be quite disabling. Integration of healthcare is looking at the mental health and learning disabilities and also the physical health and what South West Yorkshire Trust is aiming to do is integrate those two components together to cater for the whole person and not just some of the symptoms of the mental health issues. The effect on all the mental health patients would be that we've got everything all in one place. It's time reducing for staff. We can go to one place. The long-term effects of the tool aims to capture anything that might be going wrong with the service user on the types of medications that we prescribed and hopefully get baseline observations and then we can input any observations further onto that tool, such as bloods, ECGs, if they're putting on weight, we can monitor the weight, give them advice, look at gym, exercise therapy. My work with SWIFT came about through the support I have gained through the Academic Health Science Network. It was a pilot site and the tool has been rolled out into their IT system. Bradford District Care Foundation Trust Chief Executive Officer Simon Large asked the Academic Health Science Network for support to roll out the Bradford Programme of Work across Yorkshire and Humber and further. Quite recently, System One, which provides software for primary care organisations, has placed the Bradford tool onto their system. That will mean that general practices across the country can access the Bradford tool at their desks. Within the first two weeks of the Bradford Physical Health Assessment Tool being launched on System 1, over 10,000 physical health assessments were completed. One of the things that really impressed us about the service at Bradford was how well integrated it was into people's everyday practice and also the way in which it integrated with primary care. This year the Trust has made improving physical and mental health care a key priority. In fact, it's one of our top five corporate objectives. And this pilot project is the first stage of implementation of what I hope will be a successful programme across the whole Trust. It's already started to make small changes, but once it rolls out across the Trust, it's going to overall improve people's health, well-being and lifespan. Innovation is so important in the NHS. We've got so much knowledge and expertise across Yorkshire and Humber so much innovation on our doorstep that we want to work with partners to share and spread at pace and at scale across our geography. In terms of cultural change, yes it's been huge. During the process people seem to have this notion that it's not their core business in mental health but as people have seen this work roll out and the efficiency and effectiveness of it and the fact that it's quite a simple too, then they've seen the benefits and there's no mental health without physical health and vice versa.